Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration of alginate mixing, hand spatulation. This will correspond with the UCDH Dental Materials Lab alginate demonstration number one. I have set up here for me a couple of different options of what you'll encounter when you're mixing up your alginate impressions. The first one is an example of a wet mix. The next one will be an example of a dry mix. We have a warm water, improper mix, and then we'll finish up the presentation with a correct mix. Now the first thing that we need to start off is we need to make sure that we have the proper measuring uh, when it comes to the alginate. So what you want to do is you want to tumble the alginate. We're using a beaver tail spatula to hand spatulate. You can use any spatula, but what you want to do is you don't want to do an uneven or an unmeasured scoop. You want to make sure that you tap a little bit on the handle, you can even tap a little bit through the alginate itself, and then level it off and place it in your bowl. Now this particular alginate calls for equal measurements of both alginate and water. And so in the wet mix, we have a little bit more water. I'll demonstrate what happens in the wet mix. The initial wetting process goes very, very quickly. All the dry spots in the alginate you'll see disappear. But the alginate is left with a very shiny sheen and kind of a chunky look to it. What happens is as you mix, you'll notice that the alginate seems like it's the proper consistency, but it starts to droop and drip because it's too runny. And you don't want to place this in your patient's mouth because if you're doing an upper impression, it will start to fall towards the back of their mouth or the back of their throat and can become very uncomfortable. And that is a demonstration of a wet mix on the alginate. Okay, let's move on to the dry. The dry mix, however, is the opposite from the wet in that it takes quite a long time for it to look like the material is being thoroughly wet. And so as you continue to stir any of the moisture into the mix, you will see that it has a very powdery look to it and a very chunky look to it and it will not go smooth at all. Dry spots are often left at the bottom of the bowl as you can see there and it's very crumbly when you pick the alginate up. A warm water mix however can be deceptive in that when you're mixing it it will appear to mix just like a regular or properly measured alginate mix. It appears very smooth, very creamy, and can be scooped up onto your spatula very nicely without dripping off. The problem with a warm water mix is by about the time you get to where you're picking it up on your spatula to place it in the tray or to load it in the tray, it's already set. Improper mixing, I often see students or people who are initially getting used to the idea of mixing alginate, they will thoroughly wet the material and they'll either just to continue to stir like so thinking that the material will get a homogeneous mix or they will take the spatula and pat it or do some sort of a suction motion like this expecting it to work and as time goes on the alternate starts to set and the mix is not properly done. When we get to the correct example we have filled the water measurement up to three measures of water with only two scoops of alginate. The reason we've done that is we are going to pour out the first measurement 
so that we have some water left over that we can dip our finger in to put a moisture barrier on the impression. So we will fill up to the third line, pour out to the first, As we spatulate the material, we spatulate it into one spot, making sure they pick the material up. Thoroughly spatulate it. When we're done and we're ready to put it into the tray, make sure that you load it in at an angle from both sides. Once you've done that, you can then dip your finger in water, come up and put a nice, smooth, glossy moisture barrier on the impression. And that is the proper way to mix alginate.